Single point cutting tool with zero degree rack angle. So gamma is equal to zero. In orthogonal machine, cutting a speed of 120, force is 490, and beta is given as and beta is 0.7. We want to calculate power consumption and mu is equals to 0.7 is standoff beta. Since gamma is equal to 0, we have a standard diagram that is Fc is horizontal and Fd is vertical. Because of gamma equal to 0, your friction force is vertical. Friction force is vertical and normal is horizontal. The resultant force is R and this angle beta is known to us is tan inverse of 0.7. Alternate angle is same as A is equal to beta. So tan theta is same as tan beta. We have Ft divided by Fc. Theta is same as tan beta, so this one is 0.7. Fd is given to you is 490. We have 490 divided by Fc. So cutting force is 700 Newton. Power consumption is simply given by the product of cutting force multiplied by cutting velocity. Cutting force is 700 and cutting velocity take in meter per second is 180 divided by 2100 watts is 2.1 kilowatts. The merchant constant for aluminium for the following orthogonal machining data we want to find out. The rake angle is given as 35, so we have gamma is 35 degree. Cutting force is given as 200, so Fc equals to 200 Newton plus force 90 Newton. We cut chip thickness that we are representing as T1 equals to 0.15 mm and the chip thickness we represent as 0.3 mm. Width of the cut is 2.5 mm which is represented by B is 2.5 mm 30 meters per minute. Merchant constant is given by P equals to 25 plus beta minus gamma. In this equation your first job is to calculate the shear angle phi. For shear angle phi we have a famous formula tan phi equals to r into cos gamma. So we require first the value of r. So r is defined as t1 by t2. So we have t1 equals to 0.15 divided by 0.3 that equals to 0.5. We have tan phi is r cos of gamma 1 minus r times sin gamma. So let's put for this r equals to 0.5 and gamma equals to 35. So we have 0.5 into cos of 35 1 minus 0.5 into sin of 35. We can solve this equation then take the inverse of this and you can obtain the value of phi. So we have phi is equals to 29.86. Once we know the value of tan phi, we have to first find out the value of beta. Then only we can use this. For this purpose he has given us the cutting force equals to 200 which is normally represented by horizontal force and perpendicular to this will be the Ft force and resultant will be joining the Fc and Ft. We have Fc is equals to 200 Newton and Ft is given as 90 Newtons. Right now we are not interested in resultant, we are only interested in the angle made by Fc and Ft. So the, let's say this angle is theta, we have tan theta, theta equals to Ft by Fc is 90 divided by 200 so we can get theta equals to 24.27 once we know theta we are already familiar with the equation that beta is given by theta plus gamma theta is 24.27 plus gamma is 35 so total angle is 59.27 directly put this value in the given equation and you can solve for c that is a one step we get merchant constant equals to 2, 2 phi plus beta minus gamma. So we are 2 phi equals to 2 multiplied by 29.86 plus 59.27 which is representing the value of beta and the gamma is represented as 35. You can solve this equation and you can obtain the value of merchant circle. Another equation is that we can modify this equation for uh, as per our equation is since the theta is beta is equals to theta plus gamma. So we can write beta minus gamma equals to theta. So this merchant constant equation 2 phi we can write as 2 phi instead of beta minus gamma we can write theta. So we have new value for us is 2 phi which is equals to 2 into 29.86 plus theta we obtained is 24.27. If you solve this one this becomes the simple equation to remember for merchant constant. So this value come out to be 83.95 and the same value you will obtain by this merchant circle also. So 83.95. So we have another equation for merchant constant which is first equation is 2 phi plus beta minus gamma and if I replace beta minus gamma equals to theta I get 2 phi plus theta. In turning trial using orthogonal tool geometry a chip length of 84 mm was obtained for an uncut chip length of 200 mm. The cutting conditions are velocity, cutting velocity is 30 meter per minute, T 
one is concussive thickness is 0.5 mm the rake angle heating tool is hss we have to find out shear angle and the chip thickness and the shear plane angle for minimum chip strain so we are given a chip length of 84 mm so that we assign as a value of l2 so l2 equals to 84 mm and uncut, uncut chip thickness is l1 200 mm and the conditions are velocity is equals to 30 meters per minute the rate angle is gamma is equals to 20 degree you have to find out the value of phi you have to find out the chip thickness that equal to t2 the value of uh, t1 is given that equals to 0.5 so we can find out t2 by t1 if we know the value of r so this value is given as 0.5 mm in addition to that we have to find out the shear plane angle for minimum chip strain so for that one we have a condition that equals to 2 pi minus alpha is always equals to 90 so this relation we have proved in the theory classes the value of r that is the chip thickness ratio is given by t1 by t is same as l1 by l2 is same as l2 by l1 84 divided by 200 so value of r from this value is equals to 0 0.42 we will use the same equation for t1 t2 so we have t1 by t2 is equals to 0 0.42 now t1 is known to us is 0.5 so this one is 0 0.5 divided by t2 equals to 0 0.42 so we can very well find out t2 that is the chip thickness so this answer come out to be 1.19 that is very close to 1.2 mm in the first case we have to find out phi and the value of phi is given by tan phi equals to r times cos of gamma divided by 1 minus r times sin of gamma so we have given the value of r we have calculated the value of r equal to 0 0.42 the value of cos gamma is given to us is 20 degree and this whole thing is divided by 1 minus 0 0.42 into sin of 20 so we can solve this equation phi so in general the shear plane angle come out to be 24 0.75 so we have to mark the very close answer that equals to 25 in the second case for minimum shear strain for minimum shear strain we have a condition that is 2 pi minus of gamma equals to 90 so this should be to the gamma value so to this one is 2 pi minus of gamma we are given as 20 is equals to 90 so the optimum angle for pi is equals to 90 plus 20 110 divided by 2 is 55 degree so we have a option of 55 degree and 1.2 so choice b is correct orthogonal turning of a mild steel tube with a tool of rake angle 10 degree so gamma is equals to 10 degree carried out at feed equals to 0.14 so f equals to 0.14 mm per revolution the thickness of the chip is 0.28 so t1 equals to so t2 is equals to 0.28 mm feet is normally taken as t1 for turning we want to find out the value of phi and the shear strain so first of all we'll calculate r value that is t1 by t2 so it is 0.14 divided by 0.28 that is equals to 0.5 we know that tan phi is equals to r of cos gamma divided by 1 minus r sin gamma so we'll put this value 0.5 into cos of 10 divided by 1 minus 0.5 into sin 10 we will get phi is equals to 28.33 degree we can get is 28.33 into 60 into 0.33 to convert into minutes we will get 28 degrees and 20 minutes so choice first is there is no need to go because the rest answer does not match but still we calculate the shear strain shear strain is given by cot of phi plus tan of phi minus gamma so we have cot of 28.33 plus tan of 28.33 minus 10 we will get shear strain equals to 2.19